How's it going YouTube? I'm back again with another hardware review. This time it's going to be a mechanical mod review. So if you don't know your Ohm's Law, your battery safety and co Harrison with Ohm's Law, I do a little bit of research first before looking into getting a mech mod. I'm not going to go into any of that jargon though. I'll let you guys research that. This is the Deja Vu Mecha. So I'm going to be reviewing this with the Drop Dead RDA on top of it. They seem to go together pretty well to be honest, so I'll give you a little toot before I take you down up and close. So in this I've got some 0.1 ohm fuse claptons by the guys at Peaky Winders. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check them out because their coils are spot on. Here we go. She hits quite nicely, eh? So let's take you down up and close. Now, before I go up and close, actually, I'm going to just give you a little bit heads up. I'm not going to do the black background on this because it is a black mechanical device. So I don't think the lighting will be helping the situation with a black background and a black mod. So I'm going to be showing you it with the plain old worktop. Let's go down up and close, show you what's in the packaging because there's quite a lot in the packaging, actually which is quite surprising for a mech mod. Usually it's just your packaging and your tube. That's it. No, this comes with a few extras. So yeah, let's go down there. Now. Okay guys, welcome to the up and close. Now this is the packaging that I received the Deja Vu Mecha in. This is subject to change however, because I did receive it from Heaven Gifts for the purpose of this review. So yeah, this may not be the exact same one that you received, but let's go through it anyway. So you've got Deja Vu nicely at the top and Mecha at the bottom there and a nice shiny graphic of the mech itself there. On the side you have Mecha, Deja Vu again, and you have one of those little QR codes there, and a couple of little of the uh, usual symbols down there, little of the usual symbols, excuse my English there. And on the back you've got a uh, few bits of information there, feel free to pause it, and that's what's inside the box, but we'll go through that shortly. And as you see there, there are a couple of your dimensions. So it's 25 millimeters wide and 87 millimeters tall. So it's actually quite a small mech mod and it is a hybrid 510 thread. So no 510 pins at all here. Anyway, I don't want to show you that too much. We'll have a little look closer in a second. And you've got a couple pictures on this side of the uh, internal part of the switch design. Looks pretty funky, doesn't it? We'll unscrew that in a minute and I'll show you a little bit closer. And designed by Adrian Lowe, Deja Vu in Malaysia. And of course, if you didn't know, Adrian Lowe, Deja Vu is a YouTube reviewer. So yeah, feel free to have a look at his channel. I'll link that in the description below as well. That is the bottom of the box with his insignia on the bottom as well and on the top you've got exactly the same now this is the sleeve inside the sleeve you have this rather lovely bit of packaging here in a handy zip up case nice texture to it not a cheap print of the logo either so that's not gonna scratch off anytime soon nothing on the back just like a yellow camouflage design there let's open her up and I'll show you what's inside so, inside you have your couple of Deja Vu stickers, so you can uh, slap them anywhere you like, on your fridge, on your skateboard, wherever you like, chuck them to the side. And uh, you get a spring and an Allen key and also another Allen screw. And I'll show you what that's for shortly. And of course, an O-ring there as well. And as for this spring, this is included because you can have either magnets or the spring in this mech, which is a nice added extra. So you can pick what kind of throw you'd like, what kind of fill you have from the switch mechanism itself. But of course you do have some spare magnets put in there as well. And they're nicely put in there with an O-ring separating them so they don't, you know, crack through transport or anything. And here, if I can grab it, is your separate button because you get two button types as well pre-installed you have the stainless steel this is the acrylic and i'll show you how to change them up and close as well quite a nice feel to that as well there's no sharp edges or anything like that yep there's nothing it's really cleanly done actually 
and that is also threaded. And no sharpness on the threading either. And also in the package you get uh, another sleeve which has kind of like a rubbery feel to it. So I guess that gives you a little bit more grip as you're trying to fire your device but you get two different feels for the mod in either sense when you're holding it or using the switch. And to be fair it's quite handy to have this as packaging because you can take this whole piece out there, you can leave it in there, keep all of the stuff separate so you can put your mech in there through transport. If you decide to change it wherever you are, you can change it, keep them in there, change the sleeve, put some juice in there, some coils, some cotton. It's just really nice packaging, really nice and thoughtful. So I'm gonna pop everything to the side now and I will show you the mod itself. So here we have it guys, this is the mod itself. So on the top here, you do have the Deja Vu logo with Mecha underneath. It's nicely engraved as well. It's not too deep or anything like that. It's just a nice shallow engraving on the top there. And for the sleeve option, I've gone for the narrowed sleeve because this is the one that was pre-installed. And to be fair, I think this is the one I prefer out of the two anyway. On the bottom, this is the stainless steel switch option with the battery ventilation on the bottom there and that's the top there so it's got a nice threading as well really nice and clean machining on the inside there there's no cereals or anything on the top there just your basic top uh, no atomizer rash as well so this has been painted quite nicely this mech is a black brass so it's black painted brass or coated brass it's not rubber or anything like that it is solid always make sure that your 510 pin on your atomizer has enough protrusion to be able to hit your battery contact so let's have a look at that switch and see how that sleeve is actually held on so this sleeve simply pulls off like so nice and solid uh, not sure what that's made out of. I don't think that's made out of brass, but anyway, that's put to the side. So this is what's underneath. You've got a nice little star and moon emblem there. And your sleeve will be held on nicely by these two O-rings that are put around the outside here. It won't be loose or anything like that. And then you have the Deja Vu logo there again and the Mecca. 18650 you got your dimensions actually printed on there as well 25 by 87 made in malaysia and you got the serial number there which is number 867 as you can see on the inside there nicely threaded around the outside it's literally exactly the same as when i received it there has been no cleaning or anything of these there has been no sharpness no oily residue or anything it's been cleaned up and ready to use straight away and on the inside is a plus, you get a nice little sleeve. Just a little plastic thing, not solid or anything like that. But this is uh, a secondary safety measure. And I think at the top as well, you have, I'm not sure if I can see that very well, but I think at the top there is a little bit of protection as well. I can't unscrew this to show you, unfortunately. No, I can't, but at the top there, I think there is a little bit of rubber, so that actually protects the top of your battery as well. So wherever there's a tear, they've actually thought of the protection there and the safety for mech users, which is it's a nice adage really. Not every company does that these days. Pop the sleeve back in, and let's have a look at that switch. So here's your switch here. So here you have a very springy, anti-battery rattle mechanism here this little ring and as soon as you put your battery in that will adjust that will sit down and obviously there's your throw there it's, n it's quite a hard throw it's not soft by any means but when it's all put together it actually feels like quite a nice throw and then you've got your threading around the outside of the button here as well really nicely done the gaps in the threading is a really nice add as well because obviously those little gaps 
lead to the vent holes at the sides as well. So you've got four, yeah, one, two, yeah, four little gaps in your threading there. Let's take this bugger apart. So this is where your Allen key comes in that you got in the packaging. So you literally just pop your Allen key in there, hold your button nice and tightly at the bottom, push it up if needs must, and unscrew that. There we go, and take everything apart really gently because you don't want anything on the inside to damage it. To take this bit apart as well, all you gotta do is pop some little tweezers each side of these holes here. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Give it a nice spin around, nice and smooth. And there we have it. There's your spring on the inside there. Oh God, if I can get that off. Spring on the inside. And you got your little Delrin part on the inside of the switch there, which the spring actually sits in, which is quite nice. See there's a little groove on the inside there. The spring just sits on the inside. Pop that back there. And then to change the button, just push your button at the bottom unscrew this contact when everything else is taken apart and then you can change there you go nicely threaded as well and then oh be very careful because there is another spring at the bottom there nice big spring to get your other button reverse the process so pop your big spring on the inside there, pop that in the middle there, push on the button, screw that back in and screw that as much up as you can, it's just a case of finger tightening it as well. There you go, so that's all screwed up, put your spring in there still, you can use magnets obviously that's another option. But yeah, there is, well, it sits as flush as the stainless steel one does. So when you have it sat down, you ain't gonna be able to push in contact that at all. Nope, that doesn't raise. So I get this bit here, pop your spring up, blah, 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 your smaller spring on the inside there. Pop that, give it a good push and start finger screwing that there. Make sure you find it the biting point as well and then just tighten it up the rest of the way with your ceramic tweezers so she's nearly complete there now all we got to do is just pop this bad boy back in make sure it's all firmly in place okay so it turns out I don't actually need to use that Alan because on the acrylic it doesn't have the threading like the stainless steel does so literally, it's just a case of popping that back in, popping that back on, literally, yeah, don't need to make any other changes or adjustments or anything like that. Oh, actually, before I pop that sleeve on, I will show you what the rubberized sleeve looks like. That's your rubberized look. I still prefer the knurled. Still don't mind the look of it. Still looks pretty sick. But let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you prefer, the knurled or the rubberized? I prefer the knurled personally. There we go. There isn't really too much else to point out. Uh, let's go back up to the top. Have a vape on it, and I shall tell you my thoughts. See you up there. And welcome back up to the top. That was your up close and personal look at the Deja Vu Mecca by Deja Vu. So, what are my thoughts? Now, the amount of options that you get with this, it's already a big plus. You get your stainless button, you get your acrylic button. Both of them have a really nice feel to them, to be honest. 
Nice amount of throw with the pre-installed spring as well, with the addition of having the magnets as a another option to choose if you so wish. Some people prefer springs, some people prefer magnets. The fact that they got both in there is a big plus for me. A little bit of a negative for me is the fact that it only comes in black at the moment. Maybe they might shred that black off eventually, just have a brass version. I quite like the idea of having a brass version, giving it a good old polish. but. It might appeal to some people that that doesn't patina and that you've just got the normal black finish there. Still looks nice, it's just, you know, a little bit of a negative for those that might like more options on colours. It does only take your standard 18650s. Many of you have still got an absolute beast of a collection of 18650s anyway. I know there's a lot of mods that are going into your 2700s, 2650 and your 21700s nowadays, but I quite like the fact that this is nice and simple. One battery, that's it. Maybe a negative to some of you though, because some of you may like your options to be able to switch from 18650 to 2700 to 21700. It doesn't screw up the deal for me though. I got a 0.1 build in here. Whoa, a bit tight there. 0.1 build in here from the guys at Peaky Winders, some fuse Claptons, and it hits nicely. It hits really nicely. Gold plated contacts as well. Uh, usually loads of people are used to the you know, solid silver contacts and all that jazz, but these these contacts, I've, I've seen no arcing, I've experienced no voltage drop or anything like that. Uh, may help the fact that it's hybrid as well. But yeah, no voltage drop or anything like that. I've <laughs> yet to experience any. I'll show you how this fucker performs and I'll get to the chase. It hits really nicely, and I've really enjoyed vaping on this. Price point from HeavenGifts.com is 68 USD, which accumulates to 52 pounds for just the neck. Not the kit or anything like that. You do have the option for the kit. I'll put that in the description below as well. That comes with the Deja Vu RDA. But value for money and the way that this hits, the fact that you get a zip-up case with it that you can use maybe with other mods if you wanted to, but it carries everything you need in there. You probably put batteries in there alongside your tube, obviously make sure that they're safely contained, but everything that this comes with, value for money wise, that's ridiculous, 52 quid. And you get your secondary sleeve, you get different options for your button, you get different options for your button material, you get different options for the throw, so you can have magnets or springs. Not many mechs offer that many options straight from the beginning, so in my opinion there, there isn't really many cons of it. I've stated the little nitpicky things that I, you know, I gave you at the beginning of coming back up here. There isn't really anything to really complain about. It's, it's a really good mech. So out of 10, I've got to, I've got to give it a solid, I'm going to give it a 9. It's, it's not perfect purely for the fact of there isn't enough options on your batteries. I mean, I have no quarrels about it, but I've got to knock that point off because you're literally, you're, you're stricken two 18650s and you can't use your 2700s, 2650s, your 21700s. You, you could have made this a little bit thicker, put an adapter in there and given a couple more options for battery users out there because a lot of people are moving on the 2700s now yeah, they still have 8 and 650s, but they're like backup batteries to those guys now. Solid 9 out of 10. The Deja Vu Mecca. Adrian, you did yourself proud. Honest to God, I've got no other quarrels apart from the battery. Maybe that sleeve? But I'm, I'm not going to put that into the equation. I'll put every link in the description below that you guys will need. I'll even put a very good battery supplier in the description below for you guys as well, so you can check out what options they've got as well. Very good prices. Make sure you do look up what batteries are better for mechanical mods. I advise going for Vape Cell 2000 Mars or Sony VTC 5As, as they are very well known for being the best mechanical battery that there is for 18650 wise anyway. So yeah, links will be in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the review guys. I will see you next time on the next review. Keep them peeled, keep it safe. Keep it cloudy. Au revoir.